What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Sheed. I got two special guests with me. I got Clayton and Arturo. Two young men, you know, 21, 22. Okay, so we're talking and you, you know, I, I love to like, long, like if somebody got a question for me, I'm there for them. I try to help however I can. And I was like, what do you guys, you know, what's one of the things in the gym that you're really trying to develop and grow or whatever? And Clayton called Arturo out. He said, Clayton, he said Arturo is a beast on the bench press, but he has no legs. I said, what? So as you can see here, he got the sweat pants on, the baggy sweats. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful outside, right? It's probably 80, 70, 80 degrees right now in Southern California. And, but Clayton don't train legs either, right? No, sir. See? Never. And it's crazy, because I meet a lot of people that don't train legs, and it's okay. I got a remedy for that, you know? First of all, we was talking about the importance of training legs. Like, a lot of times when you're a young, a young man, I was there before myself. All I wanted to do was bench press and do curls. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you see in the mirror. But it's a whole package. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be at the beach in sweatpants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just like the chubby dude in the pool with a t-shirt on. You don't want to be that guy. But the good thing about it is always something that you could do about it. And what I was explaining to these guys is when I when I first started really training legs, they, they grew pretty fast, you know, but you got to stay on it. You, your legs are a big muscle. They can take a lot of damage, a lot of punishment, okay? Now, along with that, all the rest of the gains in your body is gonna be that much better when you're training your legs properly because we all know that strength training, it produces a natural HGH uh, uh, boost and, and testosterone boost. You get the biggest testosterone dump or boost when you're training your legs. That's the biggest muscle group in your body, okay? Everything else grows, you know what I'm saying? You gotta train your legs, all right? So, I'm a, just like we did with Big Mike and Melissa, we kept y'all along the ride, you know what I mean? With the progress. And I'm gonna do that, extend that to these guys right here because the legs is the foundation, you know what I mean? I want y'all to help keep them, hold them accountable, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that legs is a priority. It's so important to me that I once did, they, they all know I did a uh, squat every day, as long, as many days as I could. I ended up doing 65 days because my travel schedule was crazy, but it was no less than 500 pounds every day. That was the minimum. And you'll find that a lot of people say, oh, you can't do that, that's overtraining. That's bullshit. Your body adapts to whatever stress that you put upon it. It adapts and it becomes efficient at it. So, and all it did was made my squat that much better, maybe that much stronger, you know what I mean? So. A strong squat is very impressive, okay? So you don't wanna, and another thing, like psychologically, the squat is hard. You got this bar on your back, it's intimidating. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a metaphor with life, like shit, you getting pushed down. Do you just sit down with it and just lay down and die? Or do you just get that shit up? You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of psychological benefits to squatting as well, because squatting is stressful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, physically and mentally, but it's, and there's nothing wrong with stress. Stress makes us better. Stress produces diamonds. It either busts pipes or it produces diamonds. You know what I'm saying? So however you manage that stress is what you will produce from that stress. I'm like, bring me the stress. Cause I'm gonna make diamonds out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna begin that series with these guys. Um, you know, we're gonna get these guys out of scrawny chicken legs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna give some quads to the gods, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So, but we're gonna walk, we're gonna take it slow. We're not, I'm not gonna just throw y'all into 500 pounds or 300 pounds or nothing like that. So I'm gonna teach the proper form of a squat, you know what I mean? And some basic stuff that y'all could do every day. And then every week, we're gonna do a little more, a little more, a little more. And it's gonna be cool for y'all to see, cause I know a lot of you motherfuckers out there ain't training your legs either, or ain't training properly. Like, I want, I wanna see y'all squatting, a lot of people say, oh, my knees are bad, this, that, and the third. But squatting is a, an extremely functional movement, right? Any kind of rehabilitation uh, uh, or physical therapy on your lower extremities is gonna include squatting. It may not be with weight, but it will include squatting, some resistance training, sitting down, standing up, that's all squatting, okay? So we're gonna jump into it, okay? So you want your weight on your heels, push your hips and your butt back first, and you wanna get a little deeper into that squat. Two. 
all the way down. Three, explode up. Four, five, good. How'd that feel? Your knees? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you do five again. We both went, we're, gonna, we're all gonna run through it one more time. Okay. Nice tight setup, there you go. Break at the hips. Boom, weight on your heels. Nice, two. I would like to see you explode up a little faster. Three, good. Come up nice and strong. Four, imagine that weight is heavy. <laughs> like it is heavy. <laughs> good. Excellent, take a breather. See, we starting out on my on my rooftop. They don't want to be at the gym lifting little weight, so y'all gotta step it up so we can go to the gym. We graduate to the gym, okay? <laughs> I was seeing what that was. Okay, your turn, sir. Push your knees out. Two. Three. Weight on your heels. Four. Take your time coming back, coming down. Five. Okay. Y'all yeah, moved that pretty easy. So we'll step it up by 20 pounds. We'll go to a plate. Always make sure the bar is nice and even on both sides, like that. Okay, five reps. You won't even feel a difference. Nice. Wow. Two, good. Up fast, come on. Three, good. Up. Uno mas, one more. Nice, halas, excellent. Good job, good job. <laughs> Arturo. Nah, you be good. <laughs> Good, nice and powerful. Up, two, three, four, one more. Nice and strong, excellent. Good. Okay, you guys take a breather, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> one hand, do a pistol squat. I need to be breathing properly. All oh, y'all at home. How are you breathing? How are you doing your breath? Trying to go in my nose. All right, so a big, a big breath before you go down. Or fill your chest up. You're gonna, you should swell it like this. Come down and as you come up, blow that shit out, okay? So take in a big gasp of air. 
come down and then blow it out as you explode up, okay? Take your time coming down and make sure your weight is on your heels. So push your butt and your hips back a little further. Good, okay. Good, 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 okay. So from here, we're gonna move on to what's called goblet squats. We're gonna take a dumbbell. This is light, so this shouldn't be that hard. I just want y'all to get used to Squatting with perfect form. Just gonna hold it right here. You feel it a little bit in your core, which is very important for a squat. So, big chest, nice and deep. Explode up. Two, three. So, with this being a lightweight, we'll do 15 reps, okay? Eight, pl eight plus whatever equals 15. Seven. Goblet squat helps place you in a perfect position for a squat. Good. What's your count? 10. Three more. All right. Two. Excellent. Good. Push your hips all the way through as you come up for. Push your hips all the way through as you come up. Look. So this is this is accessory work. So what we did this baby warm up stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm not putting y'all through a full progression yet. I just want to get y'all form tight. I want I want y'all to experience what it feel like. Let the body start adapting over the next few days or whatever to get used to that that stress that that you're putting upon it. So the next time you can do a little bit more. But we'll, we'll normally do a full progression of squats, right? Which would be at least double of what you just did. And then we'll move to something like this, some accessory work. So it's to assist this. So that's what we're doing, a goblet squat. One thing I like about the goblet squat, like I said, it puts you in perfect position for a squat. It's perfect, okay? And the weight is in a different place, so it's a variable to your squat. So, you know, it just makes you more efficient right here. Okay, another set. 15. And for people that say, oh, I'm too tall, my legs too long, this guy is seven, seven foot five. He's falling into a perfect position with a squat. So a body is a body, it doesn't matter. Three, four, five, nice and strong when you come up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure you're pushing your hips back. And push your legs out, your knees out. All right. 
Good. You more explosive when you come up? Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Excellent. Take a breather. I'm gonna do one more set. How y'all feel? Tired. Tired? <laughs> I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. Hold it down. Good. Three. Four. Explode up. Five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, keep pushing, ten, five more, one, two, stay on your heels, three, last two, one more, easy, good shit. <laughs> that's, that's, that all changes today. Four. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, hold on, hold on. Now you're starting to drop because you're feeling fatigued. Remember, per perfect form, there you go. Wow, good, good job. So, good news is you're done for today. <laughs> We're keeping it light, you know? Like I said, I want y'all to come back. <laughs> All right, so this is just an introduction. I just want y'all to feel what it feel like. Y'all starting, to, the form, y'all got good form already. Um, so we're just gonna build on that from here, you know? Next time it might be at the gym, actually. Honestly, there's way more stuff there, but there's a lot of stuff we can do here too. So anyway, y'all yeah, keep tabs on these, these fellas right here. Make sure they on their shit, all right? All right, we out.